okay when someone says i'm a blogger you just say oh they are blogging entertainment or okay it's all about entertainment and gossip no 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 you're wrong hello welcome to yet another edition with the consulty my name is chacha and we're talking about the best niches to make money as a blogger so how can you make money as a blogger a lot of people believe that you know um the word blogger is only attached to uh, an entertainment gossip blogger or a gossip blogger that's what they understand blogging to me now that's it's so so wrong okay now a blogger is someone who has or works on a website okay you have um an area of expertise you are focused in a particular area which you talk about every other day you write it you type it you post it you put it up online you put it up on the website every other day it could be bi-weekly it could be three times a week it could be every day okay so now I'm just gonna give you um, the best niches to make that you can make a whole lot of money from as a blogger now I'm going to start with those um, in the lifestyle um, niche you see a lot of people want to know about you how do you live your life adapt to changes how do you cope with this with that you know how do you go shopping how do you you know how do you hate how do you cry how do you make friends how do you we just love to see how do you wear good clothes you know with very little money you know things people love to read things although blogging that is traditional way of blogging lifestyle blogging is giving way to video lifestyle content making right so most people that were blogging this lifestyle blogging talking about their relationships their days their dad marriages you know how they how they did this how they did that they are now moving towards video content making like or uh, they are now instagramming or they are now um youtubing um it's not as much as before but then the traditional ones still have their websites and people they have a lot of subscribers who can do without you know reading about their lives every other day or week okay so a lot of people can make money you can make money as a lifestyle blogger if you're focused you apply the ingredients to growing your page you can make a lot of money because let me tell you something now uh, there are different ways to making money on a lifestyle blog right people are okay adsense is advertising then companies okay will approach you when you get to a certain stage and um, uh, depending on how you write when you get to a certain stage you'll be like they'll say okay please we want to advertise our product on your page or we have some text links um for this and that so uh, for like maybe six months one month uh, sorry one year how much are you going to charge so you find out that the people you have lots of advertisers i don't want to talk about affiliate um marketing i don't want to talk about that i want to restrict myself to adsense and third party advertisers people that will come to advertise companies that will come to advertise on your page because um that's a sure way forget the affiliate marketing stuff we can go into that some other day now as a lifestyle blogger you can get ads you can get um, um ad requests from people and then your money on adsense now the the, ad, the adverts from adsense when you have a lifestyle blog is usually you know diverse and most of these advertisers can pay a lot so you can imagine whereby in nigeria now let me let me say okay a nigerian lifestyle blogger talking about how she bought clothes you will see that the the, the um the ads that will be reflected on our page on our website or the pages on the website will have to do with fashion these different things right so that's what that's what will make people come that's what i don't know the advertisers vary and then if you look at the retention it will be really high such that you get paid really high if you know what you're doing so the first place you can make money as a blogger is if your niche is lifestyle niche the next one is education i speak from a place of knowledge now if you run a, a scholarship website you would understand that when you are posting about scholarships you would make a lot of money okay now the people who are applying for scholarships are little but then their retention you know the bounce rate is low 
the bounce rate is what we call like you to say retention sorry but on website we call it bounce rate the bounce rate is low such that people are engrossed on that page they are trying to read the you know requirements for application and they're trying to understand if they meet those requirements so they are always on that page and now when you're talking about scholarships it is not just nigerians who are trying to check at you know look at those scholarships that you're that you're you know uh putting up as a post so different people from different places different places i mean countries are coming with that AdSense is recording them. When they keep coming in with draws, AdSense is, is watching and it reflects in your money. Meanwhile, services like, you know, there are, there are online services that have to do with, you know, writing assignments, all these research writers, you know, they come and approach you that we have text links, we have image links that we want to put up as adverts on your page. And we're willing to pay this amount. And they keep renewing it so that even before Google has and sends your money there, you're already getting so much money from this other, you know, angle. Uh, schools want to collaborate with you to send in their info and they also pay you or if you get students for them, they give you a fragment of, um, for commission for, you know, referrals. You know, there are different ways. You can, let me go back and stress um, about uh, the education um, niche. Okay, you can also talk about, you can also own a blog, you can also own a blog that talks about schools, schools in different countries and um, you know, their tuition fees, cheap or affordable schools where students can apply to, you understand, that have um, lots of, you know, concessions for students accommodation you can pay this you can do this or um, if a student coming from russia and uh, you know applies to this school you're able to get that it gets a lot of traffic and you can make a lot of money from adsense and from other advertisers you make a lot of money ironically entertainment blogs and gossip blogs you understand do not make so much unless they are you know way way high up there I say this because it's, uh, it's, it's a field or a niche that is deeply saturated. It's the, the, the competition is high, even the keywords and all of that. When you even do SEO, which is search engine optimization, whatever SEO that you apply on your site, everyone has their own different ways of applying their own SEO. But irrespective of that, for you as a small blogger to make money, then that means you have to really be into SEO and do a lot of AdWord um, advertising, that is Google advertising. You understand? And your social media um, handles have to be on point but for how long right it's, it's, it's a saturated field before you can you can be known or before you can know what you're doing you really have to put in so much money before you can see some you know uh, money from it as well so i don't advise anyone right now to be going into the gossip the gossip um entertainment blog um, blogging niche it's saturated but you can you you can go ahead you can do that uh -huh. so the next one is photography and videography listen the world is all about photography and videography especially videography right now so everyone uh, young people these days all they want to do is watch videos you don't have time to read that's why there are lots of bounce rates now on websites okay um you will find out that those who are still reading the news who are still um, doing the things that they do have between the ages of like um 28 upwards you know the audience of like um 18 to 27 more often than not are focused on just pictures you just see see the pictures and the pictures have to have letters on it or they lose interest unless they are vested in it unless they are interested in what that thing they already have an interest in it or, or more often than not, they want videos so if your blog is all about videography photography then you're going to make a lot of money you're going to make a lot of money because the traffic is much yeah the, the, the competition is at a medium power right now because a lot of people are jumping into the photography and the uh, videography and then a lot of people too might not really go to those websites they prefer to go to instagram facebook and all of that but if you you know work on your seo and you know make your content engaging people are going to flood you and you're going to make a lot of money from advertisers as usual adsense not just adsense there's media.net we're, we're not talking about advertisers but just like i said you're going to make a lot of money as a videography and photography blogger the next one travel okay you can talk about your travel but um as much as people used to make money a lot from these travel blogs um initially i don't think they make so much money via websites anymore as much as they would make a lot of money on instagram as influencers as travel influencers or on youtube 
you know um, that's where they would really make an impact but it does take some time so it's an iffy on um, on travel right it's an iffy so um, but you can try your luck okay now the next one is DIY do it yourself okay it, it does you make a lot of money if better yet if you link that um, website your DIY website to um, Pinterest you'll get a lot of traffic there because if you have a board and different boards and you keep putting up content on how you did this how you did that people generally will stumble via search or something to that Pinterest and if that is provided you don't leave all the info of the DIY on Pinterest so if there's a redirect to your website you're going to have a lot of traffic in the long run just keep building it keep building it keep building it keep building it use your social handles you will make a whole lot of money because a lot of people do not want to spend money they want um, easy ways step by step on how to do things now if you sync your YouTube page your YouTube uh, yeah, page mm -hmm, with your website you'll make a whole lot of money because if you take you do the DIY on your website and then uh, DIY on your YouTube, like I said, to provide for those young people who, ha who do not have the patience to keep reading and all of that and all of that. Then you provide for them on YouTube, take half of it, cut the, um, you know, uh, just trim the video a bit, put as a, preview, as a preview on your web page on that particular post and say, okay, you can watch the full version on YouTube. Let me just tell you, like I said, it will bring a lot of traffic and a lot of subscribers for you, okay? and you keep making one is fashion fashion is saturated i don't think that um, um a lot of people uh, do this you know own websites anymore that have to do with fashion because the easiest way to project your fashion passion or the fashion niche is on instagram on snapchat tiktok and all those social media you know um communities or areas so um, the only way to work for you is if you have these badass um, photography skills, videography skills, you can do it on YouTube as well. Or if you sell your fashion wares, you know, there are different ways for fashion. See, that is a lifestyle, uh, as a lifestyle blogger, I'm done with that, okay? So if you're doing it for business, e commerce fashion, then you can just say, okay, go to our website to place your order. I'm not talking about e-commerce website now, no. Go to our website to place your order. Now you can you you, you can you can put up your post on a particular dress and you put up you know bigger pictures and all of that and you say it's this is that you really like personalize uh the dress like oh okay i went to milan and i saw this dress and oh my god i could not wait for you my readers to have this dress. Do you want this dress? I can sell it for $20 to you but its original price is $35 so this is it meanwhile on Instagram you just have the the on Instagram you have the dress and you say okay you like this dress I love this dress I got it um, I got it at Milan and you too can own this dress or uh, quickly click on the link in bio to the website to our website and place your order where we will talk about you have an extensive description of the dress so now you're garnering traffic back to your website and every other thing being um, uh, being equal you're going to be making money on instagram on that your website as a blogger as a fashion blogger talking about fashion talking about different things that you sell in it and everyone is you have the engagement that you need and you're making money at the same time so i hope you now know the um, niche that you want to that you want to um make money from or you want to embark on now let me say the list is um, not exhaustive there are lots of niches you may have um, maybe like five you, can, you may have like 100 audience like visitors people who come and at the end of the day you find out that you're making one thousand dollars in a month that's because your niche is small but those who need you or need that niche are coming to you so you're making more money than those people who have 100,000 subscribers well, maybe you're making the same money as they are so like I said the list is um, not exhaustive you may like pets you may blog about pets then sorry pets you may blog about gardening about knitting knitting makes a lot of money people want to know how to knit how they got this you know this cardigan this this that this hat you know knitting does make uh, you know bloggers who knit they do make a lot of money bloggers who um, who talk about uh, SEO they make a lot of money bloggers who talk about um, designing you know what i mean by designing all this on this website designing security you know acts on all this how to grow your page how to grow your website thingy all those things they really make a lot of money on on as bloggers okay so do not restrict yourself to just thinking that so
I hope you subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Hit on the subscribe button. Turn up your post notification so that you'll be alerted when a new post comes up. I hope I see you next time when I come your way.